What is up everybody? Welcome to round two of Supercross, which apparently some people get really mad about when you post things <laughs> that don't include felled copyrighted imagery or a dirt bike because I don't own one so apparently I can't like Supercross. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to keep doing this because I do like Supercross and it's enjoyable to me. So I am going to try and use some clips of footage. I tried to use the highlight things last time and it didn't work because it, it gets copyrighted and you just can't use it. So I'm going to try using shorter clips this time and maybe that will appease some of the internet people. But um, the 250 class, obviously not much really to talk about this. Uh, Christian Craig got super far ahead. I mean, obviously, I think he started like third or something like that. Like he got a really good start, passed Vince Rizzi, followed Shimoda for a little while, passed Shimoda and then just set sail. I mean, he was gone. He just looks like he's way out of everyone's league this this year. As long as he stays healthy, um, you know, Swole might come back and might be another, you know, rider to give him a little bit of a competition for, but, you know, no Colt Nichols, and it looks like he has this 250 West wrapped up already. I mean, two out of five, or two out of seven races, something they do, something like that. I mean, the, the only really big things that happened in this race are, one, Shimoda doing a almost full front flip, which I'm going to try and include the clip here. Um, Shimoda crashing or stalling his bike in the whoops and Moseman crashing. I guess Mumford crashed too, but otherwise nothing really happened in the 250 race. It was just pretty, pretty bland, uh, you know, of all things considered. You know, obviously it's 250s. You don't really have the same amount of class or same amount of like depth of class that you do in the 450s, but this is where the 450s really, <laughs> really started showing today. You had Ken Roxon smash his face into the whoop and qualifying, which I'm going to try and include this clip. Um, you had his teammate run over his head, and he showed his, his uh, helmet on Instagram, and it was pretty well broken. Like, it, it took a beating. Um, <laughs> you had... Oh yeah, I did forget. Uh, you had Stank Dog making the 250 class in a 125, so that was pretty cool too. Uh, in this, the 450s again, Adam C and Cirillo showed some hilariously good speed. Uh, if once his shoulders heal, like if it actually does get to 100% this year, he's going to be a competitor because he has so much speed. And then Ken Roxon threw away his first. You know, messed it up on the whoop, started going side to side, and then just slammed it right into the face of the bull turn and I think he lost I don't even know it was like first to like 15th or 16th something like that and he just never never caught back up I mean never got back up to speed probably might have been still a little bit of hurt from the qualifying crash and <laughs> then well the story of the night Jason Anderson with his first win in like I don't even know how many days whatever they said it was like since 2018 so it's pretty good. I mean, it's showing that like he still has speed. Obviously, moving to a different bike, changing teams, changing you know trainers and mechanics and full bike, everything like that. Brands. It still shows that he has speed and he's not just a washed up one time you know Supercross champion. Um, Seeing Cirillo again start off really fast and you can just tell that the shoulder has no strength after like 10 minutes because he went from like second to I think 10th or something at the very end. Anderson flew. He got way out front. Uh, Barsha being the most consistent person here, I think he's got, I think he ended up third, if I remember correctly. So he's got the points lead, which is, you know, pretty cool considering, um, you know, he's, everybody talks about how he always wins one and then falls off. So he's consistent. Plessinger got second. That's out of the blue. Um, <laughs> you know, all the big names, Ferrandis, Webb, Roxon, all those guys were way down in the order, you know, 8th, ninth, 10th, something like that. I mean, obviously, Roxon down 13th, I think he finished something. And it's just, it's pretty crazy to consider that uh, you have the big name people and they're all, they're all crashing out. And I don't know, this is, it's kind of one of those weird years so far that you get, no one's really injured, so you still have, especially in the 450s, you have the whole class, but you've got, like, again, Plessinger just randomly coming out from, like, wherever he finished last year to second today, or second in Oakland, which is good for him. I mean, that's a great ride for him, and 
you know, that's that's awesome. It's just it's very strange that you know one weekend he's really bad, one weekend he's really good. I guess that could be a that could be a track thing. That could be a a um, a dirt thing. Who knows? Could be some setup with the bike, whatever. But the one big thing that you had in this was the uh, the LCQ where somebody got taken out. <laughs> I don't remember. It was Brees taking somebody out. Um, and if you want to talk about like yeah he took out oh yeah Brian Brees took out or I think his name is Brian or Brian whatever took out Entignab and it was a full on clear out like <laughs> if you watch the, the highlights for it you know Entignab kind of kind of hit him hard on a couple corners before and then he just said nope screw you <laughs> but apparently um Apparently he had he had no uh, rear brake or something like that. He had no rear brake, and apparently from the fact that that uh, Antignap hit him a couple corners before, and he just straight up said, "Nope, you're gone." So <laughs> I don't know. Tell me, you think? Do you think that Barsha is going to continue this this run of being consistent? Do you think he has a chance of actually? you know, winning this championship or is Anderson just going to show that, Hey, new bike, new team. I've, I've got this. So tell me in the comments below and, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Peace.